Coming up on the Sailing Brothers, we continue our passage to the USA. Beautiful sailing conditions, flat calm, spinnaker flying. We get a new crew member. Oh, he must be really tired. Should we just leave him up there? Yeah. And we get some bad news, so the pressure is on. There is a cold front slash low pressure system coming off the east coast of the United States and it's going to affect the whole of the east coast. Hello! Hello. How are you doing? Hope you're doing yeah. absolutely brilliantly. We are doing yeah. fantastic. Before this episode starts, we just like to say Please. we have recently hit 10,000 10, subscribers! subscribers! Yes! Absolutely blown away. Oh, fantastic. Amazing. Can't believe we hit 10k subs. Blown away. Mind is exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started the YouTube. Last May when we're sailing around Britain, and then this May we got 10,000 subscribers a year later, which is incredible. People must be enjoying the videos. We're so glad that people are enjoying the videos. If we can make somebody's day happier or give them some inspiration watching the videos, yeah. that's all we want, really. It's, yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely incredible. It's, the sense of achievement is a lovely. Yeah, I just... Uh... Just can't believe we started up sitting around the UK 12 for uh, six months and then we went across the Atlantic and now we're all over here. It's just, uh, yeah, totally so I said, blown away, totally blown away by it. And I just want to do an extra special thank you as well to all our incredible, amazing patrons for supporting us uh, on this adventure. Without them, we no, would not be here today and the adventure would have finished a long time ago. So thank you so, so, so much for making thank our you. dreams come true. Thank you. To keep us sailing, that they're doing it. Yeah, they are totally doing Everybody's it. Everybody's doing it, but just to watch, yeah. Yeah. Um, we always said, at 10,000 subscribers, we get a lot of comments saying, have you got any merch for sale? Because we keep on wearing our like, Sailing Brothers yeah. stuff and people want to buy it, which is strange. Yeah. <laughs> And we always said we're going to set up a merch store to sell merchandise at 10,000 subscribers. And we're in the process of doing this and it should be up in about a week's time. So if anybody wants to buy like t-shirts and hoodies and things like that, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Amazing. So if you want to, yeah, if you want to buy something, then the merchandise store will be up in about a week's time, hopefully. Yes. So yeah, we can't believe it. Really. That's going to be pretty cool yeah. to have that up and going yeah. and... Uh... Yes. We'll have to buy some small stuff off there ourselves to wear to wear on, on camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for subscribing, yeah. sharing the video, leaving a thumbs up, all the comments. Love all the comments. Yeah. Love answering the comments. Love reading them. Okay, enough blabbering. Hope you enjoy this this, this uh, episode. Yeah. Look out for Adam's poem. Yeah, I wrote a, a poem on passage and slipped it in there, and hopefully it's good. Let us know in the comments if you like it, yay or nay. Yeah. Thanks. Right. See you next time. Ta -da! Bye. We just uh, got the spinner cut up. The wind is beam or just slightly out of beam. I think the mainsail can probably stay up. Doesn't seem to be affecting it that much. And. Uh, we were doing like two and a half knots, now we're doing three to four knots. The last time we had this up was crossing the Atlantic Ocean. And it went up without a hitch. We didn't film putting it up because we were afraid of messing it up because we hadn't put it up for so long. It'd be all tangled up, look like fools, but it went up pretty well. A bit rusty, but it went up pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with that. Oh, this is what I love. Beautiful sailing conditions, flat calm, spinnaker flying. Yeah. Gorgeous. <sighs> Think about that, Mr. Martin. Nice. Nice, eh? Long, lazy spinnaker day. Yeah. Seems like we've gone from one extreme to the other. 
very well uncomfortable conditions and uh, big well not big seas just you know two well, quite big seas yeah to very little wind and uh, got the spinnaker out and we pulled it out because it was just drooping into the water we are making some progress yeah it's something But it is nice. It seems like our thing. Every time we go out for like a long passage, we get a couple of days where we're just like bobbing around doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just doing some editing and I'm actually working, so using the sun because there's no cloud in the sky today. Exactly. And we're doing okay, you know. Good afternoon everyone, it is Thursday 28th of April 2022. This is our fourth day at sea. In the last 24 hours we've done 90.4 miles. With average speed of 3.7 knots. So as you can see we are slowing down and today there's not much wind around at all. We've got the spinner cut up and we're just chasing ripples on the water at the minute. Uh, yeah, this is where we are. This is where we are. We started down here, British Virgin Islands, and we're currently up here. We're not moving very fast at all, so don't worry about which way the arrow is going. We're just barely doing a knot uh, northwestwards. We've got wind east or east northeast, about five knots, four or five knots today. Same again tomorrow. Uh, we've done a total of 431 nautical miles, and we've still got a long way to go. Working our way up here to about maybe for Freeport or Hope Town. Check the weather, and if it's clear, we'll go north up to North Carolina. But we've got to be careful of cold fronts coming off of this east coast and heading across the Atlantic to the UK. Just wanted to add, we've got currently around roughly 900 nautical miles to go. A little update, I'm going to be calling this Becalmed Day. Literally, Becalmed. Oh, look what the spinnaker's done now. It's wrapped itself around the furl in Genoa. Oh dear, oh dear. Get him back over here, come on, come on Spinny, there she goes. Just looking out the window thinking where's the spinnaker gone? Oh, uh, it's not. Yeah, yeah, can't see anything off. Oh my God, that was on top of the bloody solar panel. Big bird, <laughs> big bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You didn't even see him! Oh no! Has he pooed on it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Wow! Land, he? Wow, that is incredible! Is he on top of there? Yes! <laughs> oh, he hasn't pooed on there, has he? I don't know, I can see his pot prints. This happened last time! <laughs> if we go downstairs, he might come up. I was going to say something in the camera, but the wait now. Where is he? There he is. He coming in. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, he must be really tired. Should we just leave him up there? Yeah. But what do we do with in this situation then? With the big. Well, you need that fish. Give me a tin of tuna. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want some bread? Oh, it's remarkable, isn't it? You can get so close to nature out here. <laughs> what do we do in this situation with this? He's alright, he doesn't do any harm, is he? Well, I don't know. If I can get. I don't want to scare him off.
No, he's not doing any harm. He's got little claws on his feet, though. Yeah, little claws. Oh, amazing, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? You come offshore, away from people, and the nature, they're not scared. They will. He's obviously a little bit nervous. He can come so close. Oh. It's unbelievable. You never have this in a million years on land. They like go near a pigeon and then just take off. <laughs> pigeon? <laughs> you found him to a pigeon. <laughs> what should we keep haul him? Um, Sandy. <laughs> oh, he's shaking. Shaky. Yeah. He's a little bit shaky. Let's call him shaky. Okay. I'm going to try and feed him some bread. Place it on the edge. I'll just chuck it. No. <laughs> he threw it off. This is our precious bread. Oh, he's right on the edge now. No, he shook his head then. <laughs> he went. <laughs> he's got fleas, he has. Fleas? Yeah, he's scratching, he's got fleas. fleas in the I'm trying to bowl a fresh water this time. Don't know if you can see that, we picked up a little bit of wind. So we've in fact got the full main up. I know you can't see anything, but we've got the spinnaker up. And our friend, the bird, Shaky, is still here. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that, to be honest. Uh, a bit disappointed this morning with Shaky, our new bird. He's gone. But uh, yeah, he's left us kind of a surprise. Thanks, Shaky. We looked after you and you appreciated us by pooing all over our solar panel. Really much appreciated. It's quarter past four in the afternoon, day five. And it's been a pretty slow day. Still waiting for some wind to come. We've had between two and five knots all day and the mainsail's been banging. And the uh, spinnaker's been folding up all the time. It looks like we're gonna have a bit more wind from six o'clock onwards and then slowly building. Building and building and building, maybe 10 knots tonight, 10 to 12 knots tomorrow morning, and slowly picking up then. I'll be glad when it comes. You probably can see behind me, we've got the spinnaker up, and we have a little bit of wind at last after being pecanned for a couple of days. Yeah! For one can always rely on the ocean, a vast, seamlessly never-ending body of water which one can sail across its surface using only the wind. On passage, no matter the distance, we ride the salty sleigh. As day blends into night, night into day, where does the time go? Does it even exist? We sit on the deck watching the sparkling crest of a wave overturning rushing ahead as the next tries to catch it. When the weather is calm, we trim the sails, sit in the warm sun absorbed in a novel. When the ocean shows its angry side, we lay in our bunks listening to the crashing waves and the sound of our ship being trampled by a herd of angry elephants. Pondering, why do we do this? The answer is simple. Hello everyone, Hello. it is day six. Yeah. 
And yeah, last night I did promise we would have Wind. 10 to 12 knots throughout the night, which did happen at the evening, but it petered off completely, didn't it? Yeah, I went dead completely again. <laughs> We're always moaning about lack of wind, but... Yeah. Well, we were up most of the night, getting the mainsail down, filling with the jenny. Yeah. It was a bit frustrating. Yeah, but today we've got wind. We've got wind today. Seven, eight knots, ten knots, and we've got the big, the small green spinnaker up. Which yeah. Is nice. Hopefully. And it's... they promised tonight it's going to build <laughs> from 1800 tonight, it's going to build 16 knots then for the next three or four days. Fingers crossed. Please. I hope it does. I've got to sleep on my phone. So we're gonna get the main up. Yeah. And get the spinnaker down. Yeah, because it's, it's getting, getting too wind. windy. Don't say things that I'm saying at the same time. And I'm wearing the I'm wearing the headband today, so yeah. I'll skip through most of the boring bits. Ready? Yeah, you can see now. A lot of white horses, and we still got the spinnaker up. Oh no. Full main for an hour there. I think so, yeah. Yeah, we can easily be later, can we? Yeah. I think you're good. Ready? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Adam's going to release that line totally and it'll hopefully deflate the spinnaker and we'll get a chance to get it down. <coughs> yeah. Like a sock, really good. Oh, it's a goddamn nightmare it is. Should have gone down to there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's so difficult without the, the snapper. Yeah. I got a little bit nervous last night. It was about 2 a.m. in the morning, I was on watch, and I was downstairs, and 
the boat was rocking and we were going really fast. You could hear the wind. You could hear the wind whistling through the standard rigging going woo, woo. I thought, oh, this is getting really stormy. When the wind whistles through the standard rigging, you know we've got at least four spire. I come out here and it was 20, blowing 22 knots and we're doing 6.9 knots speed over ground. I thought, oh, that's a bit too fast, so I had to reef a little bit. Um, <clears throat> when we first started this passage I sort of I didn't think about it properly really I thought yeah it'll be a short trip from the uh, British Virgin Islands to America but after being out here for seven days I realized that how I'm struck with wonder again how big the ocean is and it just seems to just go on for absolutely ever it's it's just never ending <laughs> it's never ending we got about 550 to 600 nautical miles to go to the um, American coast. Uh, everything's going well, really. We got nice winds and we got a nice forecast for the next few days. Yeah, it's just nice to be out here, but it's, the ocean is vast, and you just you just don't can't comprehend it. Um, Another thing I would like to mention as well is the sailing is so different. Open ocean sailing is so different from coastal sailing. It's like when you're sailing around the UK and you get 22 knots. Yeah, it's quite windy, but you don't get the seas. The seas are flat. You get 22 knots out here and you get seas. They're like really big seas. You know, the boat is being chucked everywhere and you get water coming over the deck. It's just a totally different experience. O open ocean sailing is totally different. Speak to me! Yeah, oh my god. What are we doing then, Ed? Put my t-shirt on. A big occasion. <laughs> uh, we're gonna... I'll show you now. Yeah. What you see here... It's with ne we're with Neppy. Yeah. These are the bungees I put on there. Yeah. Bungee there and a bungee there. It just um, it stops the snatch. You've just got normal control lines that you pull the tiller and snatch it. Yeah, but this just them. creates a nice bit of uh, yeah, bungeeness. Yeah. But it's starting to wear already. It's only been only 24 hours. Yeah, we had them on last night. And bear in mind, last night we had quite heavy seas and we had up to 25 knots, so it was a lot of strain on the thing. But yeah, back to you, Adam. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is. Back to you, sir. <laughs> what I'm going to do is swap this one with this one. This yeah. one's not really getting used as much as you can see because the wind has come in from over there. Yeah, they've worn, haven't they? East easterly direction, so all the, the pressure's going through this one. They've worn. It won't take long before that snaps. So, we got a solution, didn't we? Yeah, well, we, I'm sleeping. I have thought of this. Really, I thought about it in my dreams. And what we're going to do is get some stainless steel springs, tough ones, and put a stainless steel spring in there. Yeah. A small one, and it'll take the snatch out of the tiller, and it'll last years, I'm hoping. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to swap these over. We were thinking of getting some indust industrial rubber, but... Yeah, We or think a, it's just going to wear out again. Rubber ring or something, but a spring... A spring would be better. Would be better. Good afternoon everyone, this is day 7 at sea. Uh, in the last 24 hours we've done 121 nautical miles, a total of two, a total of 688.5 nautical miles since we started. And yeah, we've done an average of 5 knots in the last 24 hours. This is just our rough line of where we've come from, down there, all the way up. We've had a slight change of plan. We were going to hug this coast until we get to, excuse my finger, Hope Town and then go north. But the weather's looking good for the next five days, so we're starting to make our north westerly turn up this coastline, up to maybe South Carolina or North Carolina. Um, yeah, I just have to keep an eye on the weather. If the weather holds out, we can make our course straight to North Carolina, but the weather's not that great, we can stop off on South Carolina somewhere here, somewhere here and get a safe haven here. Just about keeping an eye on the weather for the next week really. The wind has been increasing, we have easterly winds around 20 knots. It's set to stay-ish that way or maybe go a bit southeast around 15 to 20 knots over the next couple of days.
we've been having some issues with our GPS and we're thinking it's because we're in the Bermuda Triangle. The speed GPS and the speed log is all over the place and even on Navionics keeps saying we're doing like 0 knots and then 20 knots. Yes, yeah, freaky. It's really strange, isn't it? Yeah. And our self-steering wind vanes just won't keep a course. We've changed the control lines around a couple of times. We thought we had too much main up or not enough main we fiddled with that or too much head sail, not enough head sail. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're in the Bermuda Triangle at the moment. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. The GPS is all over the place though, isn't it? Yeah. Like horrendous. Not reliable. Not reliable at all. Oh. Strange, really strange. Yeah, a little bit freaked out by it, really. So, getting on well. We should have over 100 miles this 24 hours, which is nice. Uh, yes. We have some news. Bit of an issue, haven't we? Yeah. Um, there is a cold front slash low pressure system coming off the east coast of the United States, and it's going to affect the whole of the east coast by early hours of Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. In fact, yeah. a couple of days, so we're under a bit of a, a time pressure, pressure to get to a safe haven somewhere on the east coast before that hits. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. We've got about 430 miles to go, and how many days? Five days to do it? Yeah. Five days? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, four days to do it. <laughs> four days. Yeah, so we've got to do about 100 miles a day. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of pressure we don't want, but um, yeah, that, never mind. We're turning into a race boat, I think. Yeah, and the wind is, um, wind's okay. At the moment. The next couple of days, maybe 10 to 12 knots really, isn't it? The next couple of days, we may have to fly the spinnaker to keep the boat speed up. Yeah, or, or run the engine. motor sail to get there. Yeah, it's put a lot of pressure on us, isn't it? It's put a lot of pressure on us, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really annoying, you know. We could head down to Florida. Yeah. Which is like short about 320. Is it? Somewhere there, not far. But we don't want to be all the way down there. So just play it cool the next couple of days, try yeah. and keep our boat speed up. Try and play it cool, but it's a bit, I'm a bit stressed really. Yeah, a little bit stressed and sweating. It's fine. Yeah. But other than that, we're doing okay. Yeah, only about four, four and a half knots. Goose winging it at the moment, as you can see. Nice breeze out here at the moment. Yeah, if we have to, we'll we'll, we'll have to motor to keep the speed up. But we should need to average 100 miles every 24 hours, which is 4.2 knots average. Should be able to do that. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give us a like and please subscribe if you wish. And a really special thank you to all our incredible patrons.